now we are going to learn question number 9 2018 JEI advanced paper 1 number of real solutions of the equation sign inverse we have to understand here in this question they have applied the concept of inverse trigonometric function and the summation of geometric progression to infinity uh, so it's a again mixed concept sign inverse summation x raised to i plus 1 and limit is i equals 1 to infinity then minus x then again summation x over 2 raised to i i equals 1 to infinity equals pi by 2 minus cos inverse again summation i equals 1 to infinity minus x over 2 raised to i minus summation i equals 1 to infinity minus x raised to i uh, line in the interval i mean this equation this big equation is given to us now we have to solve this equation for x and then we will find value of x actually this time they are not asking exact value they are asking how many solutions will have between minus half to half so here the inverse i mean sine inverse and cos inverse are the inverse trigonometric function range is also given minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 for sine inverse x and 0 to pi for cos inverse x okay now we have to start so before uh, starting this question i want to explain a little bit about inverse trigonometric function i want to revise when you have a a r a r square a r cube dot 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 till infinity then answer was a upon 1 minus r where mod r less than 1 okay this is the first point i want to explain second when we have sin inverse x plus cos inverse x okay when we have sin inverse x plus cos inverse x then the answer is pi by 2 or you can write it like when you have sin inverse x equals pi by 2 minus cos inverse x it means when it is pi by 2 or sin inverse x equals pi by 2 minus cos inverse x then this x and this x must be same here we have to expand it very carefully like sin inverse i equals 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so it first term would be x square then again 1 then x cube so x square plus x cube plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5 dot 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 if i is infinity then x raised to infinity and x raised to infinity is infinity so it comes like this okay this is my first expansion then minus we have this x i will write here then again i have to expand this x over 2 raised to i i is 1 so this is x over 2 then this is x over 2 whole square then this is x over 2 whole cube dot 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 okay and then final bracket for this one sine inverse now sine inverse is completed equal to pi by 2 here minus this cos inverse then i equals 1 so minus x by 2 so here minus x by 2 then again minus x by 2 whole square similarly like that it is okay now again minus sign then we have to complete this also if i is 1 then this is minus x if i is uh, 2 then this is minus x whole square then similarly minus x whole cube and all okay now we have to solve it so this sine inverse and again first term is x square till infinity formula is a over 1 minus r so a is x square over 1 minus r r means common ratio so x cube over x square that is x so we got this then this minus then x now we have to solve this first term is x by 2 over 1 minus r r is also x by 2 so sin inverse is completed equals pi by 2 minus cos inverse 
minus x by 2 and this is minus x by 2 whole square similarly it goes like that the, then uh, a over 1 minus r a is minus x by 2 over 1 minus r r itself minus x by 2 so it would be plus x by 2 then this minus sign here a is minus x over 1 minus r r itself minus x so it would be plus x and like that ok now just we have to solve so how can we solve this this is sin inverse x square over 1 minus x then this minus this is x times x is x square over this is 2 minus x by the way this is x square over 2 and this is 2 minus x over 2 then 2 and 2 got cancelled we got only minus x square over 2 minus x equals pi by 2 here or what we can do we can write this minus cos inverse x to left side and I will write plus cos inverse and this is minus x over 2 and this is 2 plus x over 2 so this is 2 plus x ok and this is minus minus plus x over 1 plus x equals how much pi by 2 so we got a little bit simplified version of uh, this expression now sin inverse something plus cos inverse something equals pi by 2 then these two brackets must be equal why because sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 now i am going to equate these two brackets so this is x square over 1 minus x and minus x square over 2 minus x equals minus x over 2 plus x and then plus x over 1 plus x now solve this then this would be 2x square minus 2x square minus x cube minus x square plus x cube over 1 minus x times 2 minus x equals again x square times 2, 2x two square, x square minus x minus x cube then minus x square then plus x cube over 1 minus x times 2 minus x and what is this? minus x times 1 this is minus x minus x square then 2 times x that is 2x plus x square over 2 plus x times 1 plus x ok now if you observe minus x cube and plus x cube got cancelled and this is minus x square plus x square also got cancelled so 2x square minus x square what we got only x square over 1 times 2 is 2 minus x minus 2x plus x square equals minus x plus 2x that is x over 2 2 times 1 2 plus 2x then x plus x square ok now students are doing blunder at this step what was the question question was find the number of solution and what the students will do x square and x they can cancel x square by x and they will write x over here they will lose one answer one zeros of this expression that is x equals to zero so when we are going to find number of solutions or when we are going to find solutions then we should not cancel variables okay so i'm not gonna cancel this one i will solve or I will take this to left side then what will I get then I will get x square over x square x minus 2x minus 3x plus 2 and I will take to left side minus x x square 2x plus x is 3x plus 2 equal to 0 and I will take x square next I will take x common so now take x common here so I will get x over x square minus 
3 x plus 2 minus 1 over x square because only I, I have taken x so this is x square plus 3 x plus 2 equal to 0 now here x and then cross multiplication again x times x square that is x cube then this is 3x square then 2x then minus 1 times this minus x square plus 3x minus 2 over x square minus 3x plus 2 times x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 now either x would be 0 or this bracket would be 0 right so x would be 0 or this bracket would be 0 so numerator would be 0 so that is x cube 3x square minus x square plus 3x square minus x square 2x square 2x plus 3x 5x and minus 2 equal to 0 so either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 so if you observe between minus half to half x equals 0 one solution we got now this is a cubic equation so cubic equation number of real roots can have one or three so we have to check whether right now we are not going to find solutions just we have to check whether how many solutions will have whether three or one okay so we have calculus method to check this so let us assume this as fx fx equals x cubed plus 2x square plus 5x minus 2 okay and now differentiate both sides then we will have a dash x which is 3x square plus 4x plus 5 so this is a quadratic equation right so in quadratic equation we know if a is positive if a is positive and d is negative then that quadratic equation is always positive so a is 3 which is greater than 2 can we find d b square minus 4 is 6 so 4 square minus 4 times 3 times 5 so i got d less than 0 so a positive and d negative it means this quadratic equation is always positive it means f dash x is always positive it means fx is a strictly increasing function, right? And the strictly increasing function, so for this fx, I need to uh, draw where will be the solution. This is minus half and this is plus half, okay? So between minus half and plus half, we need to find. By the way, if you put x equals 0 in this, then you will get minus 2. So we got this point. And if you put x equals half, so you can check half whole cube, 2 times half whole square plus 5 times half minus 2. So obviously it would be positive. So here you will have this one point. So graph would be like this. Okay. So what you got? There is a one solution here between 0 and half. So one solution is this and one solution is exactly 0. So there is no need to find exact value between 0 and half. Just they are asking how many real solutions they can have. So for the question, main question, the real solution are two. One is x equal to zero and other is between zero to half. By the way, no need to write this. It's a integer type question. So how many number of solutions they can have? Answer is two. Answer is two. I mean, you have to write in this form. This is your answer too. I hope you guys understood this.